call a meeting to order this Board of Works and Safety this Monday, December 16, 2019. First item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the December 2nd meeting. Make a motion to approve the minutes for our December 2nd meeting. I'll second that motion. No further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is request for removal of a sign by Valerie Berrios, 4103 East Michigan Boulevard, requesting the removal of a school bus stop signage located at the end of the driveway at 4103 East Michigan. Ms. Berrios here. Good morning, Captain Jeff Lineski, Traffic Division. We would recommend approval of the request. This isn't the typical sign that says all four lanes stop for school bus. This is a specific sign that says bus stop. And since there's no longer students boarding at that address, we would recommend approval. Okay. City doesn't put those up, do they? Oh, yeah. School no. bus stop signs? Yeah. Schools don't? Oh, okay. There's no further discussion. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to remove the sign uh, at 4103 East Michigan Boulevard. Uh, that, that is a school bus stop sign. Support. No further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> Next item on the agenda, horizon, it, on the agenda is a horizontal, horizontal drilling permit request by AT&T. Discussion. Uh, Mr. President, I believe all the departments have consented to this. Uh, Water Department advised that they do have a 12-inch main located under that area. Um, Mr. Peller, I think the permit's dated for a year from the date of approval. Is that correct? I believe so. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the horizontal drilling permit request uh, to bore under Larkspur Lane from existing AT&T um, to Nipsco Pole, east of Franklin Street. I'll second that motion. There's no further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is insurance policy renewal. Greg Benny, General Insurance, is requesting acceptance of Berkeley Accident and Health, MCAP Group, and Captive Solution Contingency Quote, Employer Stop Loss Policy, Reinsurance Agreement, and Captive Agreement, effective January 1, 2020. Yeah, good morning, Board. Uh, Craig Manny, President of General Insurance Services. Uh, and as a reference, yeah, here seeking approval for the uh, both the stop loss policy as well as, as well as the captive reinsurance agreement. Uh, we received the, the numbers back in October, uh, but didn't receive the uh, signatory contract until uh, last week. Uh, ultimately, uh, with the current arrangement, the, with the recommendations to continue the current arrangement, uh, there's a reduction in fixed costs of roughly uh, $14,000 heading into next year. Part of this arrangement also is essentially a return of premium. So uh, we're running well from a plan basis. So uh, we'll receive, uh, on an estimated basis, uh, probably $100,000 premium back uh, next year from, uh, from the stop-loss policy. So, uh, obviously, for, on that basis, uh, recommending uh, renewal of the current program, which is underwritten by, by Berkeley. Okay. Any further discussion? No, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the insurance policy for renewal for uh, Berkeley Accident and Health, MCAP Group Captive Solution Contingent Quote, Employer Stop Loss Policy Reinsurance Agreement and Captive Agreement, effective January 1st, 2020. Support. No further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Happy Thank holidays. You. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is the Singing Sands Insurance Policy Renewal. Charles King, Vice President of General Insurance, General Liability for the Singing Sands Trail. Good morning, Board. Uh, Charlie King, General Insurance Services, here today to um, get formal approval from the Board uh, for the specific insurance policies that we had to procure for 
the Singing Sands Trail Project. Um, just a brief, uh, very brief background. Um, this, the, the city entered into agreement with the South Shore Railroad, Amtrak, and NIPSCO um, to access property to, uh, for the trail. Uh, these, these agreements came with substantial insurance requirements, and these policies were procured specifically for uh, these agreements. Uh, so uh, the first insurance policy was in place January 1, 2017. Uh, so jumping into this real briefly, uh, there's two policies involved, the primary general liability coverage and the excess liability coverage for a total liability limit of $10 million, which uh, is required by the South Shore Railroad. Uh, primary liability is $1 million per occurrence, and the excess is $9 million for the total of 10. Total, uh, total premium, 34000 $733.25. I've also included all the specific insurance details uh, in the presentation. Coverage is effective January 1st. Are there any questions from the board? <coughs> Guess not. For discussion, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the Singing Sands Insurance Policy Renewal for General Liability and Excess Liability Insurance for uh, the year 2020 in the amount of thirty-four thousand seven hundred thirty-three dollars twenty-five cents. I'll second that motion. For discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda. Is a request by the city engineer to for approval of a street sign on the westbound traffic light mast arm on <coughs> South Ohio to say Franciscan Way. Spike Peller, uh, city engineer, morning board. Uh, morning. Yes, uh, the, the uh, south of the of the uh, uh, of the intersection is the Franciscan Way. North is Ohio Street, and uh, the uh, hospital is requesting that they put up a, a sign to, uh, to uh, let people know that there are two streets. That's the official name of that. Yes, it is. And, and uh, the, uh, uh, the eastbound uh, mast arm, which is uh, uh, kind of belongs to the county, they've already approved the addition of this uh, sign. Any further discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the request for the placement of the street sign on the westbound traffic light mast arm to read Franciscan Way to be placed next to the south, next to and south of the existing Ohio Street sign. Support. No further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're not going to come back up here and talk again? Next item on the agenda is the grant of easement. Michael Micka, Addison Northwest Partners, 103 LLC, is requesting approval of the grant of easement between Addison Northwest Partners and the City of Michigan City, Indiana, for a parcel located at 501 <laughs> East Highway 20. Um, Mr. President, um, Mr. Micah is here, and he did submit an easement agreement that he's asking the city to consider. Um, I have forwarded this on to Sanitary uh, Mr. Cuss, but I have not heard back from him with any formal response. But what I would recommend is this board to table this matter, um, formally refer it to all the various departments, especially Sanitary and Planning, for their review and um, provide feedback to this board. And I was also going to suggest some changes to the actual agreement to uh, Mr. Micah, Michael's, uh, Micah's council. Any further discussion? I'll entertain a motion to that effect. Make a motion to uh, table this grant of easement request pending review from departments and their feedback. I'll second that motion. For discussion, I call for a vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. 
go on the pending list. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is an amendment to request. Abby May, President of Michigan City Main Street Association, has amended her request from November 18, 2019, requesting the Michigan City Board of Works to say to approve the use of Westcott Park for the Michigan City Main Street Association Swale Park Music Festival to effect, reflect the following. The event would be June 13, 2019. Yep, so the previous approval happened on November 18th. We had originally asked for use of the park from 8 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. on June 20th, um, and we would like to switch that date to June 13th. Okay. Same hours. Okay. Nothing else changed. Just the date. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? Uh, we don't do like, street closures or anything, if that's what you're asking. It's just use of the park. I'll make a motion to approve the change of date from June 20th, 2020 to June 13th, 2020 for the Michigan City Main Street uh, uh, Association Swale Park Music Festival. It's just Swale Music Fest. It's still in Westcott Park. We're not renaming it. Discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. aye. Motion carries. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is a approval of the claims and payroll. Make a motion to approve the claims and payroll as presented. For discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is unfinished business. First item on the uh, agenda is the alleyway at McDonald's on Michigan Boulevard. I believe we have paperwork for that now. Yes, uh, we have all the completed paperwork signed and uh, ready for this board to accept the formal deed of dedication. Okay. Any discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, deed of dedication on the uh, alleyway located uh, on Michigan Boulevard. I don't have the exact location. We have a I made a motion. Okay. Do I hear a second? For discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. aye. Motion carries. We can take it off our pending list. Next item on the agenda was a presentation by the We Create, but that has been transferred to the next meeting. So we'll just. <laughs> I got it upside down. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Then the next item on the agenda is James Kent purchase of city owned property located on Main Street. Where do you stand on that? So, at the last meeting, the board approved um, me preparing the bid documents for the sale of this parcel. Uh, because this parcel was obtained by the city by um, a commissioner sale, we can offer it to the adjacent property owners. So what I would be asking this board for permission to is to set the offering price and also approve the uh, draft of my letter to the adjacent uh, property owners um, asking if they would like to bid on this and setting that bids are due uh, no later than Friday, January 10th, uh, 2020 at 4.30 p.m. For discussion. All right. I'll entertain a motion to that effect. So moved. 
So what price are you going to set it at? Oh. Is there a... $9,200. So, so how the assessor valued this parcel is $9,200. We, we could ask for less. So the law allows us to do it at, at less than that, but I wanted to give this board an idea of what it's being assessed at. Okay. We also have expenses in advertising, correct? No, this will be an exception to the general rule because we acquired it by tax default, so we're not going to advertise it out to the general public. We can contain it to just the adjacent property owners. Okay. But you could if you wanted to offer it at large. We'll, we'll keep it at that for now. I'll enter, entertain a motion for $9,200. I make a motion to set the... Uh the bid price at the assessed value of $9,200. I'll support it. If there's no further discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next item on the pending list is Vera Foster, 221 Emma Street, requesting lights at the park and on Broadway Street to the Park Department for their review and recommendation. Do we have anything back from them? If not, we'll keep it on the item list. Next is a request from Cora Cambridge to 20 Gladys Street requesting lighting on Gladys and sidewalks on Gladys Street. Michigan City Police Department made the recommendation to install a Nipsco light at 227 Gladys. <coughs> that been done yet? Do you know? No? Okay. We'll keep that one on too. <coughs> Next item is a request from John Shalikian, 609 Franklin Street, to act, gain access to his property and draining issues. Has planning done anything further? Well, at, at this time, I think we'll just hold it over to the next administration and let them decide if they want to pave or give access at this time. Well, the last meeting, Mr. Yeah. Phillips um, said that the planning department is conducting a title search. We are not going to do that. We um, are going to, um, actually, we do own the land underneath it, but we've never accepted the dedication of the road. So it's going to be up to the next city engineer uh, to figure out if they want to accept the road or if it's built to a standard. So, okay. yeah. Comment. Good morning. My name is John Chalikian from 609 Franklin, and I wish every one of you happy holidays. And this thing been going on since July 17, 1996. And this property is dedicated. There is no city work taxes. Nobody's paying taxes. And city been plowing the snow last 22 years and damaging my property for last 22 years. And prior administrations had done nothing about it. They just postponed it from one administration to the other while I am suffering. That's all I have to say. Okay. And I have the paper and the proof. It's been dedicated and given for public use. And there are several papers. The road is dedicated. It's given. But the city did not accept it. But city didn't do anything about it either. So they, they did not do their diligent work. It's city's responsibility would we'll take care of it with the reporters at that time, not now. Last 22 years, they've been dragging their feet on it. Thank you, yep. and have a happy holidays. You too. We'll carry it over to the next meeting. Next item on the agenda was Harvey Picorne, 905 Colfax Ave, request to place gravel in his alleyway. 
that's been that's carried over to March of next year. Next item was the demolition of 710 West 10th Street, and that's been carried over to March 16th of 2020. Next item on the agenda is public comment. Anybody from the public wish to speak at this time? Good morning, Paul Prisbolinski, 1716 Washington Street. Um, uh, I, I want to address an issue that was brought in front of the board, <clears throat> I believe, uh, two meetings ago on a uh, request for bids for uh, police cars. And uh, before, after that meeting, it, it was, I think, after the meeting, no, before the meeting, that the uh, City Council Finance Committee had a meeting on finances of the city and that we were told that we were going to be one point five million in the red for this year and uh, preceding that meeting I had a meeting with Mr. Murphy and I asked him since he is the financial officer of the city why he didn't table that he gave me a lengthy explanation but my concern is this we're in the red for this year 1.5 million we only have one million dollars left in the riverboat money I was totally totally amazed that there's no money put on the side after having that riverboat here for since 1995 and that we're actually spent into the red we won't get any money i i don't believe we get our first trap tax draw till sometime in the first quarter of the year so i i just think that these things should have been brought to light or that <clears throat> those that bid process should have been put on hold i wanted to bring that to the board's attention and to the general public and uh I have a hard time believing that we're, we're, we're at three weeks left when we had that meeting into the year and we're told we're 1.5 million in the red. So with that being said, I hope the next administration deals with it. Thank you. Anybody else from the public wish to speak? If Mr. Not, President, I believe there are two change orders in front of you. I don't know if you guys are going to present this this morning. Okay, it's supposed to be presented under public comment, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you copies, Jay. Okay. Good morning. I'm Jay Neese with SDH of Indiana. Before you, you should have two applications for payment for two projects that we did within Michigan City. The first one is the paving project. The first document for the paving project is a quantity adjustment change order. And that quantity adjustment change order reduces the contract amount by $152,000. So the project came under bid under under the bid amount of 150 by $152,000. So that's the first we need to take these in each separate, correct? You can, or you can make one motion. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay, good. <laughs> There's a couple documents here. Attached to that is all the backup documentation for the application for payment. In addition, there is a quantity adjustment final project change order, which reduces that contract price by the $152,000. And the... There is also a certificate of substantial completion. The project is complete. 
and there is also a certificate of final completion. So all four of those documents need to be signed. So let me retract what I just said. I think you should make two motions, one for each project, because you're going to have three separate documents for each project to approve. Okay. <coughs> Vote on each item, you say? I would make one motion for each project. So for the 2019 paving projects, approving the change order, approving the certificate of, of substantial completion and final completion. completion. Okay. All right. I'll entertain a motion at that effect. I'll make a motion to approve change order number one for the 2019 Paving project uh, decreasing the uh, amount to buy one hundred fifty-two thousand zero seventy-six point two seven dollars. Um, in addition, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the certificate of substan substantial completion and approve the certificate of final completion on this project. Support. No further discussion. I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Thank you. The second project is the striping project. I have the same number of documents. We have an application for pavement for payment. I'm sorry. And that applica application for payment has, in addition to the contract, it's based on change order number one, which increases the contract price by twelve thousand one hundred forty-two dollars and fifty cents. This increase was due to the addition of striping along Wabash Street from 11th to 2nd Street. It had previously been bid out by another department, but we decided to include that under this project for the economy of pricing and because we had a striping contractor, <coughs> excuse me, on site. Can you repeat that amount? Yes, 12000 $142.50. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the change order um, for the striping project to increase it by $12,142.50 to a total new total amount of one hundred and eighty four thousand four hundred fifty four dollars. What is that motion? For discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Care. Okay, in addition to that, we have the certificate of substantial completion for that project and a certificate of final completion mm -hmm. of that project. Okay. Make a motion to approve the certificate of substantial completion. And the certificate of final completion for the year marking change order number one. Support. For discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carried. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Good luck. Any other public comment? Not <coughs> any board comments. Mr. President, I uh, just want to address Councilman Presblinski's uh, couple comments to correct for the record. Um, at a finance committee meeting of the City Council, the uh, controller did advise um, f to make some end of the year transfers to shore up the general fund. Um, they were suggested in the amount of 600000 from seed it to the general fund and an additional uh, not to exceed $1 million to build reserves in the general fund. Uh, the city controllers and the, the, the new mayor will continue to monitor those funds as we close out the end of the year. Um, that will not, there was a comment that that would result in uh, residuals of a $1 million in Riverboat. That is not correct. Uh, we estimate that there would be well over $3 million after these uh, uh, transfers were made uh, so I just wanted to correct that record um, additionally uh, there was a um, request before the Board of Works for police cars to purchase 
Uh, I did explain to the councilman that the uh, budgeted amount was approved by the city council and uh, this board is the contractual arm of the city um, approved that um, order for purchase as it was approved in the 2020 budget just as every other board of works um, has approved contracts that were uh, budgeted and approved by the city council a couple items of correction thank you Thank you for that explanation. I want to thank all the department heads and their staff who have helped this Board of Works over the last eight years. I also want to thank Captain Lineski for all his help in helping us make decisions. And I want to thank the girls in the clerk's office for their diligently work. especially want to help thank my fellow board members, these and the ones that have been with us over the last eight years, but especially Amber Stalbert, who's the hardest working city attorney I've ever met. Goodbye and have a good day. I'll entertain a motion. Move to adjourn. So for discussion, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. Motion carries.